Well, holy cow, has it been a minute. Welcome back to Ramblin' Road, or um, Evil One Games. That's right, I went ahead and changed the name of the YouTube channel, the logo, and everything else to alleviate some of that confusion that we uh, had before. So I know that it has been a while. According to YouTube, the last video I uploaded was 11 months ago. A lot has changed and I figured it was time to come back. Here we are in Railroads Online and I just saw that there was a massive update uh, last April, which was about three weeks ago or something like that. Looks like they did some weather or something like that. I'm not sure. I do know that the last time I played this game, we had just finished reaching all destinations and, you know, just basically wrapping up the game. And then they announced a new spline update. And I had a hard time trying to figure that out. Uh, some life changes were happening at the same time, so I pretty much haven't done anything since. All that being said, uh... I'm back in a limited capacity, we'll say. And what better way to kick it off than let's relaunch Railroads Online. So I am going into this completely cold and blind. After about a year or so, I'm sure there's been lots of updates and new features added and that sort of thing. And I have no idea. I haven't watched any YouTube videos or anything. So let's get into it. And let's see, we got options here. We're going to go to options first. Let's check out our controls. Uh, basic controls looks like. I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> Back, graphics, make sure our graphics are good here. Um, sure, everything looks fine, I guess. Back, audio. We'll keep the music off. Uh, we'll, let's bump that up to like 50%. Master volume up 50%. There we go. Hopefully the Audio is coming through a little better now. Language we're not going to worry about. Hit back. All right, let's hit the play button. Uh, let's host a server. Uh, just do nothing. Physics settings. Realistic on everything. Hard. Save game in slot one. Sure, start server. Boy, it has been a while, hasn't it? Okay, and we are here for the very first time. Oh, I hear a bell. So anyway, uh, I had a fatal error. Uh, apparently loading slot one, which was a save game file, into this game crashed it. So I had just started a new game. All right, so let's take a look. Wow, let's take a look around here. That's really jerky. I think all the assets are still loading in. I got almost 70 frames per second, but that was pretty horrible there for a second. All right, whoop. Okay, controls are backwards. I can only move backwards. W, this is W, <laughs> and this is S. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Options, controls, move forward. W. Oops, W. Apply. Okay. Back. Back. Continue. There we go. Now I can move forward. Okay, so we have a Betsy. Pretty standard stuff. I think we're in the same area. I was ho kind of hoping for a, a new world, if you will. Um, this must be our main platform over here. Okay, well, we can just kind of start all over again, I suppose. Let's see, what else have they changed? I'm not even sure what's... I have not read anything about any updates. I'm, I'm not even familiar with the controls anymore. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to actually go through those controls really quick. Options, controls, just to remind myself. Space bars to jump, yep. Toggle oil lamp. Hmm, this is important. Uh, in construction... Place track point, edit construction grid, toggle circle mode, numpad 5, or number 5. Uh, if that's numpad 5, then I'm going to have to remap some things, because that's what I use for my screen recording software to start and stop my recordings. So that would be bad. Okay, so... 
back, continue. Let's see, M. If memory serves, this is the exact same map. Okay. That's fine. Uh, M. There we go. G. Oh, tracking section of locomotives. Ooh. That's right. Let's look at the locomotives. Okay, we got a skeleton car. We got a flat car. Flat car with uh, stakes. Black car with uh, end pieces on there. Uh, we got a hopper. An EBT hopper. This is different. Okay. Uh, this is the hopper, I think, from the last game. I'm sure it's been all updated and everything. Freight type is iron ore or coal. That's the same thing. Is there a difference in weight? Here we go. Uh, 3,200. No, no. Model has... Huh. They're just uh, different make manufacturers. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that one's different. On the capacity there, or the weight. Boxcar. Another boxcar. Ooh, there's my boot caboose. And a different cap caboose? <laughs> Way car. Huh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. tell me we're going to have snow in this. And we get to push this thing. That'd be freaking awesome. And the hand car. Of course, got to have it. There's the Porter. Porter uh, 2.0. Ooh. 10 mile. Nice. 266. Six? Yeah, 266. Six. Nice. That's new. I am not familiar with this guy at all. Mason Machine Works. Very, very cool. Ah, uh, yeah. DNRGW Class 48. Another new one. Awesome, awesome. Montezuma. <laughs> a two four zero. Very cool. Yeah, there's the Eureka. I was like, this must be a replacement for the Eureka. This one here, this Montezuma. And then there's a the Eureka. The Glenbrook. Oh, this was very nice. Made by Baldwin. Is it a 260? Big old drivers. Nice. This is a gorgeous locomotive right here. The Climax. Gotta have the Climax. Oh, there's a the Heisler. Ooh. Another new one. Ruby Basin. Wow. This is a uh, two one two three four two eight zero. Is that right? Yeah, oh look at that rule range right there. Two eight zero. Nice. Oh, I like to have to have that on there. That's very nice. Very small wheels. I bet this thing climbs. Climbs well. Cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, a Shea. Oh, a Shea. Oh, this thing bounced up and down so hard it almost threw it off the tracks in real life. Oh, the Shea. Bells ringing. That's super, super, super cool. I like seeing that. A Mosca? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's like the passenger. Kind of like the Eureka. Wow, that sounded... That bell is kind of really tingy. Oh, Cook? Yeah, this is my favorite, actually, from the last game. I like the Cook. Oh! Oh! Coal. This one burns coal instead of wood. Very interesting. 
They enabled coal fire. A different cook? <laughs> oh, there's the class 70. Yeah, it's a toss up between the cook and the class 70, I think. I think it was the class 70 that was my favorite. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Okay. I am not familiar with this one at all. I want to be. It's a beast. Look at this thing. Wow. Very cool. A 280. ET and WNC. I have no idea who that is. And that's... That's the end of it. Okay. Oh, well, we have different options here, too. Oh, those are cool. Well, those are the new locomotives. Uh, G. So let's see. We got uh, derail locking, uh, demolish gate facilities. We got sand house, fire wood depot, coaling tower. I think the coaling tower is new. Water tower looks new. I think it used to look like this. Yeah. All right. So we got some different water towers. An engine shed. Oh, they updated, they added a new engine shed. Very cool. We're going to play around with those. Those are the same ones. A telegraph office. Interesting. Wonder what we do with that. If it's like an in game thing. Let's see. Track construction. Oh boy. This is going to take me some getting used to. So a three foot rail. Three foot rail. Two. Oh, we got one and two and three and four. Okay. Uh, what's happening? Oops. It's getting dark. <laughs> it's getting dark. They added night. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so let's see. Oil lamp. Oh, I got a lamp. I got a lamp. Oh, how do you go to the third person? How do you switch your view here? Oh, I got to find that out. Yeah. There I am. Same old guy. L. Lamp. Can you hold it out in front of you? Can you just hold it like that? Very, very cool. But this is going to make things a little bit more challenging to be able to lay track <laughs> for hours and hours on end uh, if it's going to be dark half the time. You can zoom out too. That's kind of cool. Alright, so. We don't, let's see here. Let's go back to the menu then. So we got different types of track. I'm not sure what the differences are yet. We have our switches. And a stub switch three way. So left, right, and center. Okay. We got our crossover 90s. You use a lot of those. Crossover 45s. Turntable another turntable and a bumper oh they added bumpers oh check that out all right uh, so on bakement that must be the fill we got different types we got bridges wood bridge down here a different wood bridge new fireproof red because they've got some different bri oh uh oh g g Truck construction. Okay. Uh, steel bridge and a looks like a stone wall. Okay. So, uh, G. M. So obviously the first thing we need to do is get to the logging camp. Uh, I believe. The reason I say that is because I, if I remember from the first game, that's kind of the first stop. Like everything needs wood, so we have to take wood to the sawmill. We have to take lumber to the smelter. We have to take uh, iron ore, or uh, we have to go get iron ore and bring it to the smelter. We have to go to the coal and bring to you know to the smelter, and then we start working down here in these three. But everything starts at the logging camp, so we need to get to the logging camp first. And it looks like, and I, I might be wrong, but I remember, like I thought the freight depot was like pointed this way. Like it was pointed off to the left here. And right now it looks like I'm pointed straight up. So we're going to have to make a curve to get there. And there's a hill here. Hill here. We don't want hills. 
we're going to go out. We're going to curve it. Come straight up like this. Try and hit this like that. And then maybe loop around and come into the logging camp. I can't just fast track over there. See what it looks like to see how we're going to come into it. It doesn't really matter. We're here now. Uh, and if we need to change something, I guess we can. Um, first things first, though, I wish it was day <laughs> so I could see what I'm doing. I'm standing on a car. Okay. Uh, well, let's clear some trees. We'll run over here and clear some trees out of the way. Um, hmm. G. Logging. There we go. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me a little while to get used to used to the controls again here. So while I'm clearing out some trees, I do want to give you guys a big shout out to those who have continued to be a subscriber to the channel. I do appreciate it. I know I kind of left suddenly and without warning. I did did check in a few times on Discord over the last few months. Go check out Discord as well. Hopefully there isn't like a penalty. I forgot to check out our player stats here. Um, so we're at level one. Uh, our XP is nothing. 190. We have 2,000 funds and we're not employed by anyone. Um, so that that's good to know. That it's not costing us anything to cut down these trees. Honestly, that wouldn't be very good. <laughs> we're just going to cut out a kind of a big area here. I know that this area is going to be like a rail yard and uh, we need to figure out what we're doing with track and you know me if I could clear out every single tree on the map I would these things are just a they're they're cool to look at but they're kind of a pain in the butt to, to deal with the work around okay so widen this up just a little bit more Let's go back here and start working on some track. One thing I just noticed as I'm walking up to this three pieces of track, uh, in the previous game they had these all linked for us. This is where the new uh, cars and locomotives would come in, spawn in, and they were all switched together for us already up to the head there, and now they're not. So that's kind of kind of strange. So all right, let's. Um, track construction. Let's check out this one. Okay, so this has ballast with us. We place it down. And I don't see ties. Uh, and it's curving. Oh, okay. I got I got to read up here. Alignment 90, grid 10, circle mode, edit gradient, and right mouse button is to in construction. Alright, so let's see here. We're going to edit the construction grid. Let's see. That's okay. 1, 10, 50, 100. 1, 10, 50, 100. I'm not sure what that means. I'll be straight honest with you. No idea what that means. I think I remember something about it back when they were talking about it in beta. Or, or not beta. Uh, like in development. I remember, uh, I believe his name was Heiss. Was sending out like updates and stuff. If I push four, that's going to rotate construction. Okay, so that's adding our curve. Okay. So I want it, I guess 90 is straight. Doesn't look straight, but okay. <laughs> if we go to zero, that's going to be pointing right back at me, isn't it? I guess zero is 360. Yeah, zero. So zero is just, okay, I'm so confused. Is that like cardinal directions? Is 90 due east? Let's see, map. No, it's north. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, so... 
six and four rotate it. Good to know. All right, so five is toggle circle mode, but if I push five right now, it's gonna end my recording. So I'm gonna have to remap that in OBS. So I will be right back. Moments later. All right, I'm back. I fixed it. So it's strange that when I move side to side, it goes so far and stops. Hey, it's getting light. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? Uh, okay. So you can just end that off. Wow. Okay. But it does this like this funky little curve thing. Oh, wait a second. Okay, hold on. Before I get ahead of myself here, let's keep keep playing with this. So uh, number five is toggle circle mode. I don't know what I just did. Circle mode. Um, place new point. Rotate construction, circle mode, edit curve radius, edit gradient. So this is a curve. It's in meters. So that so we can go super tight. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to... I'm guessing that the grid is like the units or something, maybe? Because this would be just... That's a super long curve. And I'd hate to have to hold this thing down for days on end. To try and get it to curve. You know, at a decent curve, right? So let's see. Grid. How do we change the grid? Uh, edit construction grid. This button. So if we did that... Okay, that's better. Okay, so that makes sense for that. So 30 meter, that's a super tight. I mean, it's not horrible for yard work, but if we we're out on the open track, that'd be just super tight to throw you off the rails. So 80 is probably a much nicer curve. Still pretty tight for going super fast. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so we'll turn off circle mode. Well, I thought I'd turned off circle mode. Maybe I didn't. There we go. So then 2 and 8 edit the gradient. And that should be just up now. I'm trying to look out a little bit without it, like, doing this bendy thing. There we go. All right. So what was that? 2 and 8. So 8 must be up. Yup. And 2 is down. We can measure it. Fantastic. Okay. So... I believe we can just come out here a ways. Can I place it down, down? Can't. I don't want a big old whoop-de-whoop -whoop right here coming off a nice straight, straight track and it does this crazy little jog thing, but it doesn't matter. So let's, I want to explore other ones too. Three foot rail here, we'll link it. So what's the difference between this one? There's no ties in this. I, I'm not seeing any ties. I don't see the difference between this one and the other one. If you know, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> I'm sure I could probably look it up, but I'm not seeing any difference between this one and the last one. So, this one, let's check out this one. We'll link it. Again, it looks to me like there there is no difference. No ties, oh, once, once again. I guess we just lay track without ties. That's cool. I mean, it's not cool, it's not realistic at all. So, this one looks like it should have ties. Now, maybe they're buried, so let's, well. I, I mean, this one, again, I don't know. And it should be rising up in the air. And it is, without any support or anything. Interesting. So let's just place it and see what happens. Can I place it? It's not going to let me place it in free air. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. So the ties click in, probably for the spacing, after uh, you click it in. So that means demolish rails. Good. Okay. Uh, that means, let's try this one again. And we'll run it out. I want to go like just straight out. 
how do, how do I go straight out? No, I don't want a gradient. And grid is a hundred. We'll change that to yeah, hundred's fine. I just straight track. That's what I want. Is straight track. Okay, I guess that's about as straight as it's gonna get. Okay, so there we put the the ties in. That look horrible. I guess that's pretty straight. This must be my horrible mouse movements. Just the ballast came out a little bit more and kind of covered them a little bit more out to the sides. But you know, it's not it's not bad. Not bad. I'm being nitpicky. A lot of weeds. So I guess we'll just keep rolling with that then. Uh, track construction. I I see. I don't know what the difference is between these. This one doesn't have any ballast associated with it. Let's just keep rolling with this straight. Okay, no, really. Straight. It's doing this crazy thing again. I don't like the craziness. Sure, right there. That looks looked about as straight as I can possibly make it. Okay, so at some point in here we have to start putting in switches as well. Because we have to link these two tracks up too, right? So if I come in and put in a switch, I want to turn it around. I want the switch to go the other way. So how I would accomplish this last time, if memory serves, I would put down a crossover piece like that and then demolish this like that and then I would put in a a switch like wow uh no flip around why is it doing this I need it to flip around the other way Okay, so let's well, let's play that alignment thing. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So it's obviously uh, this grid thing. So that way, which is, I believe, east, is zero. Which doesn't make any sense to me at all. So this way, which is, um, yeah, south just making sure I get my bearings right is actually uh, 270 which is actually west so that's kind of messed up that's not gonna be confusing at all so we got that switch in I'm gonna link this up I'm hoping and link link and if I just run this out, link, there we go. My switch is on the wrong side. <laughs> I need the switch on this side. Hey. All right. I'm not even sure if that's the right way to do it anyway. So let's see here. Moments later. Oh no, it's turning night again. Um, we'll demolish it. Great. L. That casts so much light. It works so well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a little sarcastic. Let's see. Uh, track construction. Um, I want this one. I gotta swing that rack back around 270. Place it. And now we have. And now we have good track. Okay. And we have to delete this crossover piece. So this will be our first switch, like our main switch. And then this one will kind of ride out that way 
to this far one with a switch about here. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. G. Now see, I, I gotta turn it again. Uh, maybe we got to be out here more. But you know what? I just saw this too. Um, again, this three-way. We have three ways, right? So maybe, just maybe we use this one. Harp right ballast, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking we're going to do. So we're going to say screw all of this that we just did. I'm going to demolish it. This is what I remember from my first playthrough. There was a lot of design and redesign. A lot of redesign. Alright, so we're going to come over there as straight as possible. I really wish I could just like lock that in be like, I want just straight track. No little whoop de -woos in it. But I want to go out that far. I just want to be right about there. I think. And then we're going to put down this little stubby guy. Come to the middle. G. Put a crossover piece in the middle one. This is all my f my first time, guys. Like I, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Some of you are probably smacking your heads right now going, dude, <laughs> he, you need to watch some videos or, or something of other people doing it right way. And we'll line that up to 70. Click. Okay, so now we can just kind of bend these on in and make this relatively easy, I'm hoping. If we go, if, if it'll bend like this, boop. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. That's got a little bit of a wobble in it. You know, that was a lot faster. I mean, that is a freaking steep turn right there. <laughs> Maybe I should have backed up a little bit more. But we're not going to be ripping through here anyway, right? Right? <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> Alright. So I'll just do the same thing here. I mean, these are going to be tight, but... Is what it is. I mean, that's so super simple compared to the way we have to do it before. So, I like it. Alright. I think that's a good start. I think it's a really good start. I need to clear out a bunch more trees, obviously, in front. Well, let's keep going here. Shortcut that. Oh, hey. It's starting to get light again. We can turn off our lamp. So, I don't think we need it at 5 anymore. So, we're going to go drop that back down to 0. Try and make this straight. It's like ramping up into the earth now. There we go. Does that look horrible? Are we like... I guess there's like a little bump here in the natural train anyway. Not horrible yet. Ah, uh, the beginnings. Don't know what we're doing. Trying to figure things out. Let me drop it down negative five. There's a little bit of a bump there. Place that. We need to come out about here or so and then start curving it around, I think. So this is this little valley right here is where I had that massive train yard before. So there, I guess there was a bit of a turn. Wasn't there? Or was it straight? I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could go back and look at my old, old videos, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go up here and make this turn. We're going to make it kind of gradual. So, and then we'll head up this way and get to the logging camp. But that's probably going to be on the next video because I'm going to spend some time and clear out some trees. Maybe scout ahead. But before we do that, let's head back over here to this Betsy. All right, here's our Betsy. We got a bunch of wood. We got our regulator, our reverser, spark and brake, our sander, our bell? 
bell? No. We can open up the firebox. Throw some wood in there. Build up some pressure. I'm probably going to sell it, I'll be honest with you. I don't really care for the Betsy. I like the Betsy too, and we'll have to call it something cool. Uh, leave your idea for what we can call the next Betsy in the comments below. The reason why is because I would really like your guys' input as much as possible on this gameplay, on this playthrough. I'm going to take all of it into account when designing this map. I might try to see if uh, some of those old guys I was playing with before, those uh, those other engineers that uh, I had a lot of fun with, see if they want to come in and, and help me out again, building track and running trains and that sort of thing. If anybody's interested in, in doing that kind of thing with me, head over to my Discord. Uh, I'm going to try to be there on a more regular, regular basis. So that way you can message me and let me know, you know that you would like what you'd like to see changed or, or you know, want to play or anything like that and just be a part of the community and a part of the, the conversation over there at Discord. But you, you can use the uh, comments below for little suggestions here and there. Uh, if you see that I'm doing something wrong or maybe historically inaccurate, then please let me know. So I try to keep these games as accurate as possible given the limitation of the game and my knowledge, of course. We're not building any steam anytime fast. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this thing has water in it. Pretty sure there was a sight glass on it somewhere. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> We're full of water. Okay, we got we got some steam pressure now. So let's put the reverser forward. Open the regulator a little bit. Oh, got to take the brake off. And close it down. Just wanted to get it rolling a little bit. We're going to come push this car a little bit here. We'll turn the brake off. Oh. Actually, we're going to put the brake back on. Come on, Betsy. Oh, come on. You're so close. <laughs> so they fixed a bunch of things that sound a little different, too. I remember they were talking about the sound. Um, something... It's getting lighter. <laughs> That's cool. It's got, like, morning... Is that east? That must be east. The sun is hitting those mountains. We're still in the shade. That's super cool. I really like I really, really like that. The sun's going to come up over there on the east. And the, that slope right there is getting brighter and brighter. That's so awesome. All right, so anyway. Um, they added some new sound, which I remember from before. But I wonder if they fix the the reverser. They used to be you just forward and back, right? But that's not realistic. As you build the head of steam, you'd have to start pulling that reverser back towards the neutral position uh, to actually increase your speed. So I'm guessing since well, there is a a level there that's 100% and you can pull it back. I'm looking up there. So, anyway, let's give it some regulator. Trying to break off. I want to hear it. Oh, cool. Oh, it's leaving me. Boom. <laughs> it did not like that. 
Uh, well, I can't outrun the train anymore. That's good to know. Um, it sounded awesome. The smoke particles was really super cool. Uh, it took off like a rocket. So yeah, um, I'll just get this re-railed really quick. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. You know, should we keep this Betsy? Should we demolish it and go buy a d that uh, black one, the, the Porter 2? What, what should we do? What should we do with the track? What should we do with the, the names of things? What should we do? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye for now.